Hi, folks. Friday evening, quick update on the severe weather threat for New England on Saturday. I'm meteorologist Matt Noyce, One Degree Outside Weather Network. Look, the setup is the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, monitoring New England for isolated severe weather on Saturday in green and few to scattered storms in yellow. What's happening is we've got a slow moving cold front moving in. We've got energy aloft and a wave of low pressure. A little storm's going to develop along the front. You have to be careful when that happens because what it does is it turns the winds. And if you can turn the winds in the atmosphere with warmth and humidity, which we have tomorrow. Southern New England goes 85 to 90 during the course of the afternoon. That increases the chance for severe weather. The overall severe chance comes to about 72% of happening somewhere in New England tomorrow. That's high. The tornado chance is low, but it's not zero. 16% chance of a tornado somewhere in New England. That's kind of elevated for around here, and that's because of those turning winds. It would probably be brief, it would probably be weak, but we're going to be watching it nonetheless. Damaging wind gusts, the chance of that somewhere in New England is about 65%. It's pretty high. Hail one inch or larger is about a 30% chance. And flash flooding, pretty low because it's been dry lately. But, of course, you could overwhelm the uh, drainage in some spots. If you were to plot overall, where's the focus going to be, let's say, through about 2 in the afternoon? Definitely going to be mostly central, northern, western New England. But if I add in from, let's say, 2 to 6, 2 to 7 p.m., that involves more of us. The purple is where we would have the highest impact of the storms coming through. The worst time frame, generally between about 1 or 2 in the afternoon and about 6 or 7 in the evening. You can really see why here. Storm energy prediction here getting into the midday uh, or about 2 in the afternoon is moderate for a lot of us. If I go forward to, let's say, 6.30, it really gets squashed down, and then it starts to disappear after that. So that's why I say it's at mid to late afternoon, early evening timing. This is interesting. This is predicted storm rotation. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're looking at tornadic development, but you're looking at storms that can rotate or spin and be self-sustaining, which sometimes can produce a tornado spin up. If you look overall at where those paths are, it's in that same area that I highlighted. We'll watch near the front running through New Hampshire and Maine. You might be limited on instability. That's why I think Western Massachusetts is going to be one area to watch. Parts perhaps of Connecticut. Rarely is this exact to the spot correct, but it certainly is an indication, particularly when you see those higher values that you have to be very much on guard for this. In terms of the timing, I always am going to tell you to look at our app because the data is always being updated. But nonetheless, it looks generally like the showers are into northern Vermont at noon, but they're not strong because you don't have that humidity. There they go, firing up in parts of western and central New Hampshire, western Massachusetts as well, trying to come into central Mass. As we get to 5 p.m., Merrimack Valley, right around 5, 6 p.m. and toward the Boston area as we head into the evening and again. You start to see that energy kind of come down in the thunderstorms as we get into the course of the evening and then certainly the overnight. All those showers will last you into Sunday. A reminder to grab the app, you'll get the notifications, but also a reminder, we have New England's only and first ever streaming network right now too. So if there's something big tomorrow, I'll see you. I'll be at the top of the app streaming there. It'll be at one degree outside live and you can find it on your smart TV. All of our videos are streaming network there. Go into the YouTube app. Search for the number one Degree Outside Network and you'll find it. All right, we'll have an update for you Saturday morning, OneDegreeOutside.com and atop the One Degree Outside weather app.